So uh, the next loop that we need to completely decipher is the H block TXV with this unique component called an internal heat exchanger. Uh, from my recent experience on these, is that they are equipped on the 1234 YF refrigeration systems that have a variable displacement compressor, so there is no cycling clutch. Uh, whenever we have commanded on air conditioning, uh, our pressures don't really cycle like they used to, they're more consistent, so pretty unique setup. But what I wanna do is go through a little bit on these parts, especially this IHX, because it changes the game a little bit for us. So once again, uh, first thing I put down was my variable, variable displacement AC compressor. So that is gonna send hot refrigerant into our condenser. Remember, that's just gonna cool down. One unique component that we put in here to increase our efficiency of this system is instead of the receiver dryer being a remote unit, we have this tube, if you will, an additional tube, significantly larger, but we call it a modulator. That little puppy's gonna store any uh, liquid that uh, is accumulated in the condenser. From there is where it gets really unique. So we're gonna take that refrigerant and we actually, what we do is we coax, there's little circles I'm putting in here, is high pressure, high temperature liquid. So this is, this is a cutaway view of the IHX. So really what, what we're doing is we're taking the gas that is coming out of the H, out of the evaporator and we're further cooling the liquid line that's coming into the evaporator. So it's a great way to uh, disperse some of that, some of that spent energy because it's just what we need to do to stay efficient these days. So I will explain to this a little bit more as we get there. So we're gonna do a little loop-de-loo -loop here. Let's explain this a little bit, okay? This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna pull you up even a little bit here. So our liquid coming out is gonna go into a tube. There's basically two tubes stacked on top of each other. So imagine that this is in the center of this line and it's not quite the size, but this is low pressure, low temperature gas. So we have this free energy that is coming out of the EVAP. It's already been used to meter in the refrigerant into the evaporator. But all it's doing is it's going inside this tube and returning to the compressor. So like, heck, let's utilize this energy. This hot high pressure liquid is gonna be surrounding this low pressure, low temperature gas. So what it's able to do is cool the track's heat, right? All of that hot liquid is gonna be drawn to this gas and it's going to help ensure that we have liquid going into our evaporator our charge level has dropped a lot since we integrated this ihx you know these systems for a four dollar sedan are just a little over a pound conventionally we're looking at like two pounds so we've really we've really uh, brought up the efficiency level uh, introducing this ihx device into here so it's just a great little converter for using up that that cold energy uh, to ensure that this stays liquid. So let's just finish this loop out really quick. So this is not green, this is red. This will be your high pressure, high temperature gas, high pressure, high temperature liquid. We are cooled down some. I don't need to change colors or anything. So we are still high pressure, high temperature liquid. So we've We've cooled down an additional, I can't say, some of my measurements have been getting about 10 degrees cooler. That helps uh, dramatically as far as the system being more efficient. So from there, we are metering in low pressure, low temperature liquid into the EVAP. We're gonna get that guy nice and filled up. Basically all of these 
remaining lines are low pressure, low temperature gas. So this is it. This is the IHX equipped TXV. Hope you guys got it. Later.